Hello my friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In yesterday's video we did end our day in Rhodes and today I would ideally like to begin a main mission but before we do that I want to head into my satchel and read some more newspaper articles before I completely forget and fall even farther behind. <laughs> okay so we read the score is dead, cautionary tale, riverboat Grand Corrigan, Grand Champagne Reception to be held. Mayor Lameau's annual party, music and fireworks planned, high society on display, have not read this one. The elite and politicians of San Denis are waiting for their invitations to attend the annual Champagne Reception and Gala held by Mayor Henri Lameau at his exquisite mansion on Flavian Street. Known as the richest and most extravagant party of the year, it is considered the highest honor to receive an invitation to attend. Invitations have been sent, ball gowns, and fine suits are being made to order. Champagne has arrived by boat just two days ago, enough to fill a swimming pool <laughs> should Mayor Lamo choose to build one. The annual event is a highlight of the year and many yearn to take part as the women wear spectacular dresses and the men carry pocket watches and other fine accoutrements worth a year's salary for most working folks. That sounds like a waste of money to me. This year's affair promises to be the biggest celebration with musicians playing, people dancing, and the evening culminating in a fireworks display that is sure to be the grandest spectacle of the year. Onlookers are expected to gather to catch a glimpse of the beautiful and splendid guests. I would like to go to this. And I, and, I, and I remember looking in yesterday's video at the end, looking at the next quest I want to work on, and I feel like it's going to a party. And I wonder if it's this party, but well, maybe we'll find out today. Anyway, next, next article. Submarine in, in the works, a modern mar marvel, will be powered by steam, similar to 1860s Southern Naval model. Jack Yanner was only 10 when the war between the states ended, but he remembers the stories of how Southern ingenuity resulted in the invention of an underwater boat or submarine named the H.T. Abernathy that played a part in the war. Under a contract with the U.S. Navy, Yanner is currently working on a submarine based off the original design, but rather than being human-powered, it moves via internal combustion engine while on the surface of the water and electrical power when sub submerged. He hopes when it's completed in 1900, it will be the first submarine commissioned by the Navy. While the Abernathy killed two crews during testing and ultimately sank during battle when it was too close to its own torpedo explosion, it did ultimately sink the Northerner's Navy ship. There are also plans to possibly power the new design with steam, similar to a comp competing submarine currently in development in France. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to make my way over to Not Wednesday and then head back to Shady Bell and hopefully maybe grab some food, do some chit-chatting, but most importantly, begin this quest with Hosea. So I will meet you there unless something exciting That's should happen. So, oh, hey, look who it is. I'm still picking the dust out from my teeth. So what do you say we go again? First one to catfish Jackson's. Um, sh sure. Let's let's go. How could I say no? Ready? Let's go. Come on, not Wednesday. Where is she going? Is she going the the wrong way? <laughs> the long way around? I I don't understand. But yes, must must complete all the horse racing quests. Somebody said in the comments it it gives me nice perks eventually. Whoa, I, I'm going too fast. Game can't handle it. Um, yeah. There's snakes in here. Don't be worried, we'll be fine. Oh gosh, you guys need to get out of the way. <laughs> oh, there she is. She's catching up with me. That's not good. Got it, not Wednesday. We can beat her. I feel like we should be almost there. I've been to Catfish Jackson's like every day for like the last five days. I feel like. Race. 
just had the edge today. I did. Damn it, not again. I'm about ready to send this horse to the bone yard. Oh, okay. Bye. Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey. Ooh, that was fast. <laughs> my horse's speed has increased. Well, now, now I guess I'll keep making my way back to Shady Bell, which isn't too far away, I think. Trapped in a swamp. Yeah, it's like hell on earth. It beats uh, freezing to death. It does. In it does beat freezing to death. In a swamp? This is not for nice me. place you brought us Go to, my me? brother. Oh, yes, yeah. lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Can dissipate him. To enjoy it while you're alive. That's the trick of it. Well, I haven't mastered that bit. You? You have more fun than anyone. Do I? <laughs> Why can't I go up here? I hi, everybody. Maybe I do. Sorry, I was in your way. Oh, now I can go up here. Hi, Tilly. You recovered? I'll be fine. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome. Of course. Just glad you're okay. I am glad she's okay. I like Tilly. I like a lot of people here. Okay, well, there's no stew out. I just heard Micah over there being preachy. I mean, I, we have Dutch. We don't need two preachy people. <laughs> Not to be mean, but like, you know, let's be honest. Double check. There is, there be no stew around. Javier is playing the beautiful guitar. Well, I did just save not that long ago. So I'm going to talk to Hosea and start, what is the name of this quest? The Gilded Cage. Hosea needs to speak with me. See, I think Arthur's right here in a, in a fancy suit. Tuxedo maybe even. All right. Let's, let's get this going. Hi, Hosea. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Are we going to fast travel to Saint Denis? <laughs> oh, we are. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so fancy. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to so I have a look, quick look around. Wonderful, wonderful. Back. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with are, the mayor. Are Bill's pants just here. really short? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Wow. Hey, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Follow the escort. Wow, this is. Oh my gosh, I want to go into every single room. I want to explore the real estate. <laughs> I gotta stop. I don't think. I don't think the game's gonna let me. I really want to. Huh. That's. 
like embroidery or something like that? Oh. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys, you arrived. Yeah, we're and here. you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. First time oh, in a month, no doubt. This is quite a party you've invited <laughs> us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war, and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Uh, oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> wow, this guy and is that, a real piece of work. That is Hector Fellows, this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. <laughs> I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. I'm looking forward to watching you die. Wow. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Yeah. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters, but you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso okay, guys, now the good line. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Okay. I want to go in that door since you locked it. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Nina. Ciao, ciao. Luca Gentlemen, Napoli. Okay. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Hi. Gentlemen. Evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information, of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen. Mingle with the well. guests in the courtyard, okay. Good evening. Hi. Hey there. Have a lovely <laughs> evening. Just yells out. Is there food, Southern? Ah, get me a bloody drink, will you? Evening, gentlemen. A small one. Oh, good, good Just cowboy karma. Oh, you're not such a philistine as all that, Marie. No, I am quite that much of a philistine. Oh, um, what am I offering champagne? Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. 
Clearly not from this swampy hair. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I tried both. You know, bastards and marriage. Maybe married a bastard. <laughs> it didn't work out so good. Oh my god. I should not have got up this morning. <laughs> I, I, I need to go and sit down and have a little rest. I'm just gonna. Mrs. Wicklow. Is anybody. And you're burying your head in the sand again, sir. <laughs> Don't blame me for God's mistakes, if they were mistakes. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Women are inferior to men, madam. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's a fact. Undeniable. Demonstrable. I will not deny it simply because of fashion. I'm intrigued, sir. You hear your argument. Oh, is she the, um... I am your clear superior. Suffragette, who we you're keep running into in San Denis. But you're neither my better... Nor my inferior, sir. Okay, madam. This is Wicklow. I will not prove it by publicly thrashing. Oh. Uh, well, I, you're stronger than me, sure. But as civilized beings, haven't we moved past that? Apparently not. Apparently not. Yeah. <laughs> good yeah. evening to you, sir. Good, e good evening. I oh. will go find some other people to threaten to hit me. Mr. Wasp, he's the finest. That man may be some quite the most interesting purveyor of the exotic. But don't tell anyone, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. Je monsieur. Okay. That, that's a really weird hat. I'm just going to say it right now. I wouldn't be able to wear it because I'm so tall. <laughs> it is not a verbal problem, but a human problem. It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. Well, you are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah, I'll say you and me cool off. Where, what, what, what's happening? Off me. Come on, sleep it off. Is this where the bad kids go? I don't understand. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Okay. Return to the mayor. It's strange how their dresses are all metallic. Maybe it's just the light hitting it. Hello, sir. Hello. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> Allegedly. It's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, fireworks! We get to see them! Oh, oh, oh. Yay! I love fireworks. I love that fantastic. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, monsieur, please. Please, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yeah. Yes. Find out what. Sure. But I wanted to watch the fireworks, too. He's not. He's a whole ass. Right? <laughs> Not a horse's ass. He's a whole ass. I'm guessing I need to follow this guy. And that's what's going on. Serpent will notice you if I get too close. Okay. Look at that. I am. Hello there. Hey, ma'am. Bonjour. Bonjour. Did you not say bonsoir? 
because it's evening. Although bonjour just means hello, so maybe it works. But good evening would be better. Do I get to like go sneaky? Let like, me like stay back from the servant no to make sure you're not spotted. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Great. I have to be sneaky. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. You put something down in here. Where was it? Look at me. Who do you think you are? Oh. This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. <sighs> okay. Where's he going now? Oh, he's going upstairs. Locking the door there. He's putting it into the desk. Locking it. transition. Inspect ledger. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Is there uh, anything else in here? -ish? Oh, letter. Let's read. Letter to Angela Bronte from Mayor Lemieux. Rather, not Lemo. Anyway, from the office of the mayor, city of Saint Denis, Lemoyne, May 1889. Mon cher Angelo, yet again the city is in debt to you, and I am flabbergasted by your generosity. The magnificent gift you provided will prove to be a cornerstone in our financing of a dream of establishing a world renowned university in our city. We are now well on our way to the funds necessary to, fund, to found both the Divinity School and the Humanities College. Future students in Lemoyne owe a great deal to the vision of men such as you. I am forever grateful, your friend, Henri Le, Le, Le Mieux. There we go. Anything else in here that's worth sneaking a look at, maybe? What is this back here? Should I, like, borrow something permanently? Search cupboard. Okay, but well we'll just, maybe best if we just skedaddle out of here. Although, bag, satchel, can't go into my inventory at all, so I can't read the ledger. Back downstairs we go. Not sure how sneaky sneaky we're being. Hello, everybody. Good evening, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. 
Ah, oh, here is Dush. How convenient. In his little towel pad. <clears throat> Find anything? Nothing, so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Really? Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna it? leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Oh yeah, the one on the riverboat. I heard about that too. Come on. I, I don't think we should be um, robbing anything in San Denis. I feel like that's a bad idea. Here comes Lenny. All right, let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. <laughs> all them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's <laughs> sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Is it... I, I, is it going to be better than your last few ideas? Because those are not always so great. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess... So what's next? Dancing lessons? <laughs> Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, a fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. Does we are almost it? heading home. Right. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> I'm not really sure how great an idea any of these actually are, to be honest. The gang attend a party hosted by the mayor of Saint Denis. While at the party, they meet with Bronte and look for job opportunities. While at the party, pour some drinks, compliment a guest attire, and accept a gift and save a life. Oh, I didn't. I did some of them. I did not do all of them as per usual. I would like to change my clothing. I would like to fix my. What is it? Oh, we've got new boots. No, I, I, how do I have new boots? I, I'm very confused. Um, I wanted to go to weapons and equipment actually to try to fix my masks. What masks do I have? Oh yeah. <laughs> Weapon and equipment. Don't get distracted. Uh, the bandoliers. I wanted the sharpshooter bandolier. Have save outfit custom three perfect. Okay, primary. Ooh, I've got. Wish I could turn myself. I like Arthur's holster. It looks like it has actually some design on it. Yeah, that one's just ugly. We'll just we'll just leave it to what it is. Offhand holster. There we go. We'll just leave that there. Okay, so I want to inventory. Do I have, it doesn't seem like I have that letter or ledger or anything like that, but I have new quests it looks like. Um, okay, question mark. American Fathers part one, Dutch mentioned that the gang might be able to help Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials in Sandini on behalf of Rainsfall, the native American chief. And then Trelawney was looking. Trelawney was 
on the riverboat. We have to meet him here, but I would rather go and do some of these side quests first, which I think I will probably do tomorrow and just take the opportunity to pause here today. But yeah, I don't trust Angelo Bronte. He's a gangster and we're in his town and I just don't feel like he he's going to give us a good tip. So I feel like that tip to the tip that he gave us, I, I forget where, is not good. I feel like robbing the bank in his town is also not a good idea without his permission and him getting a cut. I feel like robbing the river, what was it, the the riverboat? I don't know how well that's going to go because isn't that what they did in um, Blackwater? Then they rob a riverboat and that went south as well. So I don't, <laughs> I'm sure we're going to have to do all of these, but I, I feel like the Vanderlyn gang is just not very good criminals. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best though. But anyway, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.